What's going on everybody? So in today's video I'm going to give you my top 5 worst releases of 2018. So this is just my opinion as to which ones are the worst releases of this year. Now some people are definitely not going to agree with me on this, but this is my opinion. But the first release is going to be... So that is Hermes Eau de Citron Noir. I really do like Hermes. Hermes is a very high-end brand. They got great quality fragrances. However, this one was a miss. A lot of people on Fragrantica do agree with me that this is heavily disliked. So some of the notes of this one are different citruses, smoke as a note, all right, black tea, guyac wood, and I personally get a sea salty type of vibe. Not like sea air, but like a sea salt vibe. There's something salty. It starts off really nice with the citruses and the tea, and then it makes a right or a left, depending on which way politically you lean, but it goes a different direction, and it just goes, what the hell, to my nose. I don't know if a lot of you guys get that sea salty, that sea note accord, but I do, and I was really disappointed. Like, it started off great, and then it just made a turn. Set number two is from a brand, a high-end brand, just like Hermes, but this fragrance was a total... <sighs> what fragrance is it? Yeah, YSL Yves Saint Laurent L'Homme Cologne Bleu. This smells nice. Doesn't smell bad, it smells very generic. It just smells like a money grabs from YSL. Some of the notes, sea notes, lavender, apple, citruses, geranium, and so on. It's a light, pleasing, freshy that's redundant. It smells a lot like other things. This is definitely not appealing to most of us. This will certainly appeal to members of the general public who really just want a few pleasing fragrances. This will certainly make the company money. But for me, it's just where I'm at in my journey, and this is a guy who loves freshies. Nah. Set number three, got a bottle, so I don't need a picture for this video. Azado Chrome Under the Pole. Now I do like Azado. They have some great bang for your buck fragrances that smell really good. Some notes of this one, citruses, woods, rosemary, coriander, tonka bean, and so on. This does smell nice. It does have, to my nose, it has some of the original Chrome DNA, but what makes this release one of the worst releases of this year is, and I can appreciate where they were coming from. This is a partnership that Chrome did with uh, an underwater expedition company. I love the idea. I love the marketing. The bottle looks sexy and I love the color. The color really grabs your attention, that blue. But the substance itself is a milky white and it's not made of any alcohol, but it's made out of water. So the marketing itself is brilliant, but because it's made out of water and I, again, brilliant concept but this doesn't last at all. Like three hours at the most. Yes, you could just reapply if you want. It smells good, but it is a little redundant as well. It is forgettable and the longevity is crap. But the idea where they were coming from, I applaud them for that. Scent number cuatro is gonna be Dolce & Gabbana The One Gray. The original The One was an original. Nothing really smelled like that one. And then they came out with the perfume concentration. Both scents smell amazing. This is a fresher, cleaner, lighter take of the original, but it is a bit of a redundant release. Some of the notes, grapefruit, cardamom, clary sage, lavender, coriander, and tobacco. So it does have a little bit of the original The One DNA. I do like the, the tobacco and I do like the citruses, but the fragrance itself is certainly forgettable. My wife really did like this one. We did a review together where she rated it like, I think a, an eight out of 10. And I think that I gave it like a five out of 10. It's a good smelling fragrance that will appeal to the masses out there ones that don't really care to have a lot of fragrances in their collection or who aren't frag heads. But to me, it was completely forgettable. And the idea of a fresher take of the original was a good idea, 
but it failed. And scent number five is going to be from a high-end brand, but what is that fragrance? Armani's Aqua Di Gio Absolute. This fragrance does smell nice. I do like the smell of it. Again, it's a forgettable scent, a little redundant. Some of the notes of this one are sea notes, woody notes, patchouli, tonka bean, rosemary, and so on. This is a little bit more of a warmer fragrance than the original Aqua Di Gio. The color itself, when you look at it, a brown liquid, you would think that this fragrance would be a little bit heavier and deeper, that it would have notes like that it would have amber, tobacco, maybe some cinnamon, darker, deeper notes, and that it would be more suited for the winter time, but this fragrance is, it is a little bit deeper, a little bit darker than the original, but it's still a freshie out there. It's more of a spring and summertime fragrance. The scent itself really is not gonna penetrate the cold, and you would think with the color of the juice, but no. It smells okay, but certainly forgettable to my nose. So guys, that is my top five worst releases of 2018. So which ones from this list here is your favorite and your least like? If there's other worst releases of 2018 that you think should have made this video, list them down in the comment section below. So everyone, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Two if you can. Hit that notification bell. Thank you for your time. Take care and we'll see you later.